of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be another general love reading for the sign of Aries. Five of Pentacles came out. Someone's feeling left out in the cold. You're giving someone the cold shoulder, Aries. Someone's missing you like crazy is what I'm getting. It's like someone wants you to pour their love. You've been drawn from this person for a very long time. And now this person really feels um, the connect. Okay. They feel that... Um, they feel you pulling away from them, detaching from you, okay? But they're feeling very lonely right now. This person needs you big time. Whoever this is, you could be them. All right, let's see. Tell me what happened in the past. Tell me what happened in the past. Tell me what happened in the past for Aries and their connection. Queen of Wands. What is the current situation for Aries? What is the current situation for Aries? Wow! Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Tell me what's on Aries' mind. What is on your mind, Aries? What's your focus? What's your focus? What's on your mind, Aries? Five of Swords. Ooh la la. <laughs> okay, what is the root of the issue? Why is all this happening? Why is all this happening? Nice. The Empress. What the fuck is going on? What is in your future? What is in your future? What is the near future of this connection? Wow, three of cups. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the two of cups here with the king of pentacles. You got commitment coming in, guys. You got commitment coming in. All right, let's see. So in the past year with the queen of wands, it looks like there was a lot of attraction. There was a lot of chemistry that you had with someone. Okay, for sure. This was a connection, a very strong connection, a soulmate connection. You guys are both on the same page. The love was there for sure. But I think what was missing was uh, a long-term commitment, stability, security in the connection. I think you chose to walk away from this person in the past and do you. I think you were the one who was pursuing this relationship in the past. Okay, and um, you just realized that you don't want to do this anymore because there was a lot of passion, a lot of attraction. Probably you guys were dating, but this person was not someone who was trying to take things to the next level. And you just decided to walk away. You decided to pull back your energies and walk away from this connection. So yeah, there was definitely a separation or breakup in the past year. Now what's happening here is, I think on your mind is revenge. You have trust issues with this person, even if this person comes talking to you, even if this person come to, comes towards you with a brand new beginning. You got issues with this person. You're not opening up. You're in that spiteful energy, you're in that vengeful energy. Like, yeah, come back around. I'll show you what it means. You know, it's some, like, something like that. But you're being very vengeful. That's what's on your mind, okay? I think you're very angry, very pissed off, and you're determined to win, okay? But this is more of the energy where you're standing up for yourself, okay? Because with the Ace of Pentacles here, this is a brand new start. There is a potential of a brand new start that's coming in towards you, okay? This is solid, this is stable, this is commitment. This is a very big opportunity to make, to solidify something, okay? But the Empress here, someone here sees you as uh, the one for them, okay? The Empress is someone, you know, who's um, wifey material, okay? And that's the kind of person, uh, that's what the person thinks about you. This is someone here who's coming towards you with a lot of um, stable energy, a lot of secure energy, okay? And that's when the near future here with the Three of Cups here, we do see a reconciliation, okay? Let's see. What's the Queen of Wands in the past? What's the Queen of Wands in the past? So yeah, there was a lot of dissatisfaction in the past, okay? You probably felt breadcrumb. Yeah, this person was giving you bits and pieces to keep you around with the situation, but wasn't really giving you the entire package. That's what I picked up in the past, right? Knight of Pentacles. Actually, the situation was more like it was too slow. It was too slow, the situation here, okay? You were just feeling messed with, you felt like this person's never coming along, or this person was just someone who was very focused on their career, their goals, their money, whatever, right? But it was a situation that was too slow, and uh, you felt like this is a situation going nowhere. You got quite fed up of investing into this person, and that's why you probably walked away. Yeah, and this person was very wishy-washy, 
okay very wishy-washy very in and out of the connection okay which got you even more trapped and confused you were stuck on this person for the longest time here but i feel this is what you did you chose to walk away from this person because you're showing up as a queen and you were dealing with the knight here okay someone who is very insincere this is someone who can do everything that it, they need to make things happen with you but their approach towards you was making them turn out to be someone who is just in about all about the passion and uh they um they come in with a lot of energy you know but they come in as fast as they go that was the problem in the past okay and that's why you chose to walk away ace of pentacles why is this here in the current situation why is ace of pentacles here in the current situation yeah someone you had a break up with okay this is someone here who's hurting and this is definitely someone here who you had a fallout with there was a lot of emotion pain distress heartache separation sun here someone has clarity about the situation they do they're they're, they're in pursuit of pursuit of happiness their focus is happiness and their happiness is you this person wants to come along okay because after this separation i feel after this time uh, apart this person has realized what you really mean to them and with the sun here this person wants to come in and they see uh, or view things in a more positive light and with the ace of swords here they want a brand new start with you I like the Ace of Swords because the Ace of Swords is a new start. It's a new beginning, but this new beginning has a lot of truthfulness, a lot of transparency. Okay, so this person is gonna tell you what they really, really think about you and what they really want for you. Okay, or oh, your mind is the Five of Swords. What is that? What is that? Why is the Five of Swords on Aries's mind? You're very angry with this person. Really pissed off. Because this person could be playing a lot of mind games with you. You know, you have serious conflicts, a lot of communication issues. Five of Swords. Why is that here on Aries's mind? Yeah, because see, this was a soulmate connection, right? But the kind of behavior that they did, right? It left a bad taste in your mouth. Okay, you thought of this person as your soulmate, or you felt you were dealing with a soulmate. Okay, a very strong connection that you can't shake off. There could be a very significant difference between you guys. Okay, it could be age, could be religion, could be caste, could be place, could be a lifestyle, whatever your belief systems. But that's the kind of person that you were dealing. But there was there was definitely a strong connection here. We saw the Two of Cups also. So yeah, I feel that whatever happens, something's left a bad taste in your mouth, and you're looking at the situation very negatively. It's because of it you're in that uh, defensive situation. King of Wands, yeah, you wanted this person to take action towards you. You wanted them to take action. You wanted them to take the lead here. We have a true pair situation with the King and Queen of Wands here. So yeah, you, this that's a true pair situation. You guys are meant to be and look how you're looking away in the past and now this person's wanting to look towards you but this is what's on your mind you definitely wanna wanted them to um take action towards you you know you wanted them to do all the talking i mean more like a leave this relationship okay whilst this one's someone here who is not taking action they were very passive you know and uh, probably you were doing all the work and now this person's looking at you but this is this is who's on your mind wheel of fortune yeah there was no change here okay so i feel with the five of swords here there is change coming in okay but with the wheel here i feel that there was something that was not turning in your favor because of which now um you're choosing to stand in your power okay the wheel of fortune is more about destiny right so i think you left the situation to destiny but when they come back is how you're going to be that's your defensive mode here it's like you come back to me you give me your shit and that's it you're done i'm done you know you're you're gonna chop their head off you don't trust them at all you don't trust them at all for some, probably this person has cheated on you, but I'm not getting that that, that so much. Uh, I'm getting that this person was just non-committed. Okay, the king of wands can be someone very, very flaky and extremely commitment phobic. Okay, this person wants their independence. They love their independence. Okay, because of which you had to turn out to be very cold. You were probably waiting for things to change and this person could have made, made you wait for a very long time. Okay. Um... But I think with the Wheel of Fortune here, what, also what I'm getting is that you have a lot of hope and faith that things will turn in your favor someday, okay? Or um, it's like it will work out in your favor, you know? But I think you were waiting for the right time. After some way, someone you knew they'll come back, but you weren't really doing anything about it. You were just sitting there, you know, and waiting for this person to realize that they fucked up, that they messed up, and it's their duty to come towards you, okay? You could have waited for say six to ten months for this person. Okay, or there could have been no communication from six to ten months or whatever, six weeks. Uh, yeah, but I think you were just waited, waiting for this person. But you're in that energy of what goes around, comes around is what I'm getting, okay? For sure, you're waiting for a positive change. 
All right, tell me about the empress here. Why is the empress here? This is what is the root of the issue. This is what this person says you or wants from you. What's the empress here? Let's see. The tower. Yeah. <laughs> this person has a huge realization and epiphany, okay? This is a very sudden and unexpected change or shift in this person's energy, in this person's um, way of thinking, okay? There's divine intervention, okay? And this person has finally awakened, okay? And they've experienced some kind of shocking truth or a revelation. They're, they're facing the truth of the, about the situation. They realized that this was built on a faulty foundation, a crooked foundation. And this breakup and separation has given them a sudden epiphany. Okay. It's like, they're sh it's shaking things up. With the Ten of Swords here, this, there's definitely been a painful ending here, right? And I think there is some kind of healing that was going on with this person here. But with the Five of Cups here, yeah, there's been a lot of disappointment. A lot of disappointment around this situation. Ten of Cups is what this person wants with you and what you want with this person. I mean, I can't say it's only them. I have to say it's also you, okay? I think this person here, they, they are crying over spilt milk here, but this person wants to put an end, okay, to any kind of trauma. They want to revive this connection is what I'm getting here, okay? Whatever things ended badly between you guys, yes, but this wants to come back. They want to revive the connection here. But with the Five of Cups here, there's still that element of this person what is holding on to disappointment, okay? Holding on, into, holding on to the past. This is also the energy of someone who feels and thinks that, you know, uh, this is what they want for you. Okay, we're going to check out their actions towards you in the extended. But with the Empress here, there is growth and expansion here. This is what they want. But are they going to make a move towards you? We're going to see in the extension. But with the tower here, there is definitely a huge change. Okay, a huge shift in this person's energy. This person was trying to dodge the bullet all the while. Okay, they were fearing disaster. They were trying to avoid a disaster with you. Okay, but something had to crumble. Okay, because it was built on a weak structure here. I think this person feels that you are disappointed in them. You know, or they're this one in you somewhere, somehow. Yeah, but with the ten of swords here, that bullshit is coming to an end here. Okay, you've hit rock bottom with this situation with this person here, and looks like from now onwards it's only going up. There's no way but to go up. Okay, and the ten of cups here at the bottom of the deck. This person wants a happy ever after with you. They see a family with you. Tell me about the three of cups in the near future. Tell me about the three of cups in the near future. Two of Pentacles, Page of Swords, you're going to get a lot of communication from this person, whoever this person is with the Page of Swords here, we see this is someone who's wanting to communicate with you, they're watching you from a distance, looking at you, okay? They're in two minds yet. There is a possibility of a reconciliation in the near future here because this person has a lot of deep love for you, okay? The moon is a lot of uh, nervousness also, right? Because they know what you, they don't know what you feel or what you think about the situation. But yeah, I think there is communication coming in. It may be a little delayed, but I think it's coming in. With the two of pentacles here, I feel this person is in two minds about wanting to communicate with you. Although with the three of cups here, they want a reconciliation. But um, the potential is there. But that's only if they make up their mind. Because this is someone here who's going back and forth with the decision, right? I don't see this as you. I see this as this person here. Who's looking at you, watching, but in two minds, you know? Like, should I, should I not? Will they take me back? Because the moon is a lot of unknown energy. I mean, you know, like, what is he going to think? What is she going to think? Is Aries going to take me back? Does Aries have other options? Is Aries moving on? Has Aries moved on? You know, like, uh, keeping an eye on you, trying to get more information about you, you know? But uh, they definitely think about reconciling in the near future, okay? So, yeah, there will be a reconciliation. Just watch out for some communication, but watch out for some sneaky communication because the Page of Swords is someone, you know, who's just going to try uh, ways uh, of uh, getting into your social media, you know, and try to talk to you, try to get some answers. They could be asking around friends for you, okay, or what you're up to, etc. So that's what I have for you. If you're interested in the extension, link is below, okay? We're going to do their thoughts, their feelings, their actions towards you, the next move, etc., okay? So that's what I have for you. Hope this video resonates. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.